uh, uh, used Wikipedia. to wine. <laughs> yeah, Wikipedia. Exhaustion is the theme of the day. Yeah, you know, that I is... think everybody here is feeling that today, Bama. Yeah. Uh, beer sauce is also very fun to cook with. Yeah. Um, I, I do enjoy myself, you know, a nice uh, coca bean, with, which has wine for the sauce. But I've also had, uh, what was it? It was a... Have you had vodka pasta? Yes, I have had vo uh, vodka sauce pasta. I have had a uh, steak with beer sauce, which was very good. I've seen steak with beer and Coca-Cola as uh, the base. As somebody who doesn't drink Coke, I've not had that. Uh, aware. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either, because uh, I didn't know it until they fed it to me, and I was like, "That's why this tastes like sugar." Um. <laughs> oh, I just I just found out very quickly that my stomach does not like carbonation. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. So I, I don't, don't like I don't I don't drink any soda, which is always a surprising thing for people. <laughs> I don't drink any caffeinated sodas. Like I don't drink any like Coca Cola or Pepsi mm -hmm. or Mountain Dew or I drink like Sprite and then seltzer water and is Fanta um No, it's not. Okay. I I like Fanta. I like high C more though. Fair. Just mix high C and Sprite together, the high C fruit punch and Sprite. That's what I always got at like fancy restaurants as a kid when they didn't give me a Shirley mm -hmm. Temple. <laughs> Tea is good. Ooh. Oh, what, you also have to come up with the grapes. The grapes. The grapes. So, okay, so the, something I was thinking about for the grapes, because I do have. I was thinking so, we I could do, do it a berry. Like we could do it a berry wine. Okay, that also works. Yeah, like I mean, do we don't you, have to do, do grapes. The... I know, I know that's normal, but you know, most of the world they were making wine out of virtually anything. True. <laughs> True. <laughs> so okay, so think. Let's think about it. This area where this wine is coming from, it's cold, right? Like that's the whole point of this. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it's cold, and it has access to like uh, glaciers and ice. So so oh. ice water. Raspberries. Also, yeah. maybe something or like cloudberries. True, that works too. Or what is the other okay. one that comes from Sweden? Um, yeah. No, I I, I immediately say that <clears throat> they literally live in Alaska, and we have multiple raspberry bushes in our backyard <laughs> that just grow wild. <laughs> I love that ice wine is actually a thing, though. Well, <laughs> it is. You like know, a and don't thing. forget, this is also a fantasy world. Yeah, so can we just create a berry? Like, yeah, oh, okay, let's we can base it off. The, let's base it off. So, the so we have options. What are we doing? <laughs> um, what if we had so, like? So we're gonna again, base it like off the, a raspberry. We're gonna, yeah, we're, it's based on. It's like it look. It kind of looks like maybe like maybe it looks like, like a white, white like an like a, a white, white or a like glassy raspberry. Yeah, and it grows I up in the you. glaciers. Like, for some reason, this berry really, really loves just right. growing, like, in straight-up glaciers. And it thrives uh, there. Which is why nobody else um, can produce it, because nobody else has glaciers. Okay, so, um... But what do we call the berry? So we got, I think we can call it a snowberry. I kind of like the, that name. Yeah, I like it. The snowberry. When you eat it when it's not ripe, I love that idea. <laughs> Frostberry, if you eat it when it's not ripe, you get frostbite in your tongue. I. I... <laughs> okay, so it's gonna be made from the rare snowberry. And I feel like. I'm trying so hard not to say that you should be using the O with a slash through it, so it's a uh, snowberry. <laughs> <laughs> really? 
and then nobody. I, I do not it. have all those keys memorized, so you could you I, can yeah, come back say, and I don't edit have, that. I, don't have those keys. I can edit it because I can do it natively on my keyboard. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> yes. Why? Actually, no. That's a non-question. Never mind. No, I mean it's a very no. Okay, it is a very reasonable question because I don't have a normal keyboard, at least not Why, where I live. Why don't um, you have a normal keyboard? <laughs> That's a, that's a really good question. <laughs> because I'm a very strange person, and I convinced my ex-boyfriend to go bring me a keyboard from Denmark. Because I could also, when I ordered the keyboard, I could only, the only way to get a Scandinavian keyboard layout was to have it delivered to some place in Scandinavia. They would not, they don't ship those internationally, apparently. Uh, so I sent it to my ex-boyfriend, and he brought it to me when he uh, when he came to visit. So now my primary keyboard is a Scandinavian keyboard, and the best thing about having people visit me is that they lose their minds anytime they have to use my computer. <laughs> it is a great deterrent to you keep people what? off my shit. That is smart. <laughs> well, but here here's the thing. So do you type? So you don't use a U.S. QWERTY keyboard, or is it similar, just... Um, it's still a QWERTY keyboard, except, uh, there's a few extra keys to it. Okay. So, this is, like, so, I, with a single key press, I can simply type in the O with a slash. Mm. And that's just a normal key press for me. Um, I can do accents a little bit easier. <laughs> That also works. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to I think. think of, I like, all the ideas there. I'm trying to think of other uh, like dishes. Yeah, that yeah, you would. Um, snowberry jam. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Very uh, jam. Um. Um, I feel so like then, I feel then, like, just like have a medicinal use. Then why don't we make this? Um... I, I was, I was going to say, should we make this article for about the snowberries or about the ice wine? About the ice wine. Yeah. Because there is another prompt where we can write about snowberries. What's the snowberry okay. prompt? Um, that one is a useful fair. plant found in a wild area <laughs> of your world. Okay, fair, fair. Oh, that works. <laughs> Let's do the ice one. Okay, so... Um, is there anything special about the way that they have to process it? Because since we're making wine, right, it has to sit up, it has to age for... Yeah, um, not just even the aging, but also... I just how like for instance skin on or skin off kind of things. Yeah, I was, oh, I'm about I was about to say, um, are we making this like plant? Mm. You have to you have to process it. Yeah, like how much do how much do you it? process it? Um, and then adding things like you know, can you uh, like would you add like yeah, so... yeast or something to it? Right. Um, well, I would think back back then they tended to use wild yeast, but mm -hmm. um, I was also thinking about you know if you go to uh, Iceland, right? You have the volcanoes, so you have yeah. these geothermal springs and stuff. Maybe it's a combination of the geothermal uh, water with the glacial water. Hmm. So, like you know, when they mix it in, because I guess that yeah, they'd have to mix it with water. Like you have to use a specific kind of water as well. And that would be the geothermal water. Yeah. That could be interesting. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes it so it doesn't give you yeah, frostbite. Yeah, yeah. Well, you think hot springs, right? Yeah. Because they would have higher mineral content. Yeah, because I, I was about to say, like, if this is being grown, like, you have to do something to it. For it to not hurt you. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we'll we'll roll with that. Um, <laughs> um, See, that's funny. I that I, think I, I do that's... like that Panzer. <laughs> 
And it seems and no, I don't, I don't think it. wars have been started. <laughs> so I think petty fights between chefs have been started over it. I find that like no, okay, no, this could be here. also an interesting tradition. No, here could be an interesting tradition related to the iced wine. Um, so I'm kind yeah. of thinking a little bit about the Norwegians and their insistence about whether or not you stack your firewood bark bark side up or bark side down, and they will argue <laughs> until like until the cows come home about this. <laughs> So maybe maybe the argument here, the cultural argument is, do you store your iced wine in the cellar where it's cold or do you serve it, you know, on the counter at room temperature? And people and that's like the one and, you know, you go into somebody's house and like the first thing you want to check is, okay, but how do you store your iced wine? I think a petty argument between you, two you could also say that there's a third group that that doesn't consider it ice wined until they um, pour it over ice it, until they can pack it in the snow without it freezing. Mm-hmm. So you got to get the alcohol content high enough. Whoa. I think somebody froze. <laughs> Wait, was that me or No, it's uh there's a very moment of robotic from <laughs> Ah, <Newfoundland>. okay. <laughs> oh good. Daughter bring... <laughs> Boy, how do you serve the wine? <laughs> yeah, I think it cleared up. Yeah, <laughs> we can hear you better now. <laughs> I, you know, I could, we could, we can totally write a war about this. Absolutely. I Look, know. There, I there, feel like... there are. We have a military conflict prompt too. I feel like that's our three prompts. It's this, yeah. the falls in the cuisine, cuisine prop, the actual berry, Ooh, nice. and then there, there you go. Uh, because war, our a conflict between two petty fight. Well, a conflict between two unequal powers in your world. Maybe the uh, room temperature. Uh, wine stashers are considered the minority and look so, and you know poo pooed. <laughs> can I? Can, yeah. But I will say that I find it much more funny of it being like a Tom and Jerry situation of mm-hmm. an actual fight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, like a conflict doesn't necessarily have to be like. War full blown, type physically full war. Violent. No, I feel like it'd be much funnier if it was like a Tom and Jerry situation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Me just loving Tom and Jerry. I, I, I grew up on that. Also, uh, Yina, I keep reading that in like the God of War voice <laughs> every time I see boy. <laughs> And something else I'm kind of thinking about for wine specifically is like you talk, you know, like when people usually talk about like what this wine tastes like and smell like, because that's actually it's a surprisingly like sensory drink. Uh, just kind of thinking about you know like what you know when you aerate your wine, like you know the sort of prudish what? person you might be, the snobby person you might be. What does it smell like? Is kind of something else. Um, you know, I was I was gonna say something. I was gonna say the. Uh... Um, what what is the person doing the wine tasting say about the yeah, wine? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that would be a fun quote to open it with. <laughs> so dumb. Like maybe it actually has kind of a cold scent to it, like that feeling, you know, when you step outside and it's like negative thirty and just that, like you know, bit of shock. 
Yeah. And it just has that as part of like the regular like aroma. Well, also ice has a smell sometimes, especially mm -hmm. if you're using it with mineral heavy water. Yeah. So maybe it smells like well, because these are coming from like geothermal, maybe it even even has like, like people people look look to this as a sign of quality, but it smells a little bit like sulfur. <laughs> <laughs> like it has that slight tinge of rotten eggs, and it's like, mm, yes, high quality iced wine. It smells like <laughs> rotten eggs. I was <laughs> I was just getting ready to write that it had a pleasant scent. <laughs> but no, I no 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 no. Okay, so can we do middle ground? It smells like. Like uh, like mineral heavy ice. No, mineral heavy ice. Uh, smells like like metallic when you smell it. <laughs> Can that please be the middle ground? I I feel like it has a <laughs> metallic and cold maybe. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. Well, we can say though it's critics. So, so it has critics that point to its metallic scent as, as something off-putting. Yeah. No, well, off-putting or something to go towards? Well, I, I think critics would say that it's an off because it is a little off-putting. Keep in mind, I have heard people describe actual wine as having a tar-like uh, like scent to it, and that was a good thing. <laughs> See, there's a reason I don't interact with wine people. Yeah, they have some weird not. things. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I have also heard people t say that, like, you know, they, they like kind of a charcoal taste in their wine, and again, that was described as a good thing. Well, as somebody so, again, who knows, it's like the sommeliers of the world. Yeah. As somebody who knows multiple people that, like, smoke whiskey. Mm -hmm. Like, sm like, like, smoked, like, like fireball basically yeah <laughs> uh but much higher quality y yeah no i y no <laughs> like i can actively smell it from a while like it's a, it's a lot so we're gonna put in there that there was uh several regional traditions that grew up around the formation of the wine mm-hmm I'm also thinking that like maybe the cultivation, you know, um, this is good back to what uh, is... Ian was saying. Like, how did the boy pour the wine? So, like, what are these? What are these details of those? Oops. Do you tip your glass? Would be one. Yeah, I was about to say. Like, I feel like. Ooh. Do you tip your glass? What's the thing? And then how you store it, if you um, store it cold or at room temperature. Kind of like the white wine, red wine um, situation. But this yeah. is just within one particular type of wine. Okay. Ooh, that's another good one, Bama. Well, I specifically think that people serve it upright, or else the people serving it room temp and on its side would be in the cellar. Like, right? Does that make sense? Or... I also think there could be some debate. No, you always have to store it on its side because that keeps the cork that keeps the cork yeah. wet. Yeah. What are you gonna? What are you gonna say? Um, and and I apologize. There's a bit of a lag today, so uh, sorry if I talk over you. No worries. What was I gonna say? Um. Oh, whether or not you're supposed to age the wine. Uh... Some people may think it's like, oh, this is best served, you know, within like six months to a year of, um, uh, uh, you know, of bottling it versus other people who are like, no, 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 you need to age it for, like, at least three years.
and maybe even what kind of wood that they use for the casks because people may want to impart certain like you know maybe maybe it's traditional to use pine wood which is what's common in that area but some people might try using other kinds of wood mm -hmm. maybe someone has decided hey let's try you know uh aging this in oak barrels and that's like a huge scandal like how dare you go against tradition do you only use pine barrels in this household <laughs> Why do I feel like the people who use oak barrels are the same people that store their wine at room temp? Yeah, they probably are. <laughs> I could honestly yeah, see like some these that... insane like people actually fight them. <laughs> I, could, I could very genuinely see somebody um i know a family is like they they want to do something different you know they want they want to mark up the price of their wine so they mm -hmm. start storing it in oak barrels and they specifically market it as like oak barrel aged iced wine mm -hmm. and that's the entire point of this is like and then they can sell it for even more money even though the process is, is the same Yeah, I feel I feel like the whole situation with that would is gonna be oddly petty. <laughs> like Oh, it absolutely is and it should Yeah. Be. Yeah, as it should. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> At least I feel like I'm glad we're on the same page. Like these are things any outsider is going to look at and be like, why on earth is this what you're arguing over? Like, don't you have anything better to do with your yep. lives? <laughs> also, you know, holy shit. <laughs> these people tend to receive bricks through their windows. Goodness. <laughs> Not that far, I don't think. So what's the silliest part of this that we can say they fought an 18 year long war over? Um. Oh, oh, do you want to hear something really stupid? <laughs> um, oh no. Do, do, do you use a natural cork or a metal cork? <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> That was the final straw that caused the <laughs> conflict. Is somebody decided to use a metal screw cap? <laughs> no, like we're fully aware, but I do okay. find it really funny. Okay, okay, we got this. <laughs> Those degenerates. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, we gotta give them a name though. Uh, we need a tribal name. Now extinct. <laughs> um, give me one second. Yeah, fantasy name generator that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I have a better idea. <laughs> Place over there. Oaken cask? Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was about to say. Maybe use like, um, have uh, egg in there. What? Uh, E-G-E, -E, which is the Danish word for oak. Well, no, this oh, is this is going to be the one that came on with the screw the screw on cap. So the oh, I've got an idea. we'll, we'll name the other the, the screw on cap people are the same people that were the oak, <laughs> oak barrel. <laughs> what if we call them iron oaks? It's a little bit on the nose, but I think so. Who's who's the who's the oak oak? These are the Try. same people that came up with the screw cap. <laughs> I yeah, I I think that. The, so dumb. Oh, you you want that? Okay. <laughs> <God>. Like. <laughs> okay. Like um, I think, like, cause here's the thing. I think it happened in steps. So it was like okay, oak barrel. Okay, yeah, sure. 
uh, storing it at room temp. Okay, yeah, sure. Metal screw cap, what? No. Nope. Yeah, no, nope. I'm fine there. <laughs> I think that's exactly what happened here. Yeah, so maybe it's like the Iron Oak clan and then the Pine Barrel clan. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, so this is going to be the Oak Barrel clan? Yeah, so the Oak Barrel clan is the uh, lesser power because they are heathens and degenerates. <laughs> yep. I think Iron Oak is a little too on the nose. <laughs> okay, fair. <laughs> Just a little bit. As much as I love the name, I feel like it's a bit much. <laughs> okay. It also sounds weirdly British. Iron Oak? No, like, um, what is it? Why am I blanking on the name or something? Okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a good place to put that at. <laughs> now, here's the question. Right. Do we want to write about the war itself and what it entails? So we can always write about that conflict in another, in another yeah. article. Yeah, because that would be its own article, I think. Yeah, no, that's what I was about to say. I was like, we, I think we should leave this one where it is. And... <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna make a couple of articles for these guys. <laughs> Are we spelling barrel with two e's? Uh, yeah, someone in the chat did, so I just ran with it. Okay. And we, we're going to do pine hearts? Okay, yeah, okay. We'll, we'll do pine hearts. I think, yeah, pine heart sounds good. It's so dumb. <laughs> okay, because then we can come back up here. I love that the bots are, like, fight and fight with each other periodically. <laughs> on those things real quick. All right. Save changes. Oh. Because it's posting the... I'm going to publish the, this up as uh, soon as it comes out so that uh, if you guys want to check it out, you can. Oh, that our AIs fight again? Yeah. <laughs> That's always one of the highlights. Uh, <laughs> okay, so what what was the word count we had to hit for the prompts? 100. I think we hit that. Yeah, we're at 357. How many? 357. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. So, uh, before we move on to the next prompt, um, I, I kind of want to bring this back around to the actual topic for today, which is, um, you know, like the the limitations and the constraints and how they help with the creativity. I don't see you spelled something wrong. Apparently, it's spelled denounced wrong somewhere. <laughs> uh, did I? Apparently. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll fix it in one second. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, you're right. Right there. Okay. All right. So that one's published. So what's the next prompt, Elizabeth? Um, do we want to write? Do we want to write about snowberries or the frost war? <laughs> As much as I want to write about the medicinal properties of a berry, I think Frost War is it, infinitely funnier. Yeah, really. it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but do we want to go through the constraints of the current prompt, which is the cuisine? <laughs> yeah, do you want to do okay. more cuisine stuff? Frost more? War, it is. Just because, like, the prompt itself, the way it's phrased, uh, it gives you quite a few constraints. Prompt so the page first, again. Uh, like, with the article type, which is one yeah, like... it specifies that it's a ritual. Um, you're telling it's a cuisine, so, okay, you know you're writing about something food-related. From a sparse, barren, or remote region in your world. So which almost immediately, different. that takes us out of Fredomistan. We have to go somewhere else, because Fredomistan is not, is not sparse, barren, or remote. It's what, kind of where most of the action is. So that sent us basically looking at our map and it's like, okay, well, what is, what would be a region that fits that? We have uh, the, why am I playing? Uh, Vardvol, which we know, like, which we've already established is cold and fairly, you know, and is far away from Adamistan. So, and, and what's kind of nice about summer camp is that oftentimes, like, with a lot of these prompts, you might already And it's have probably it. sparsely populated and- Exactly. And like we already had seeded in because of the uh, crooked mast, that we know that there's something called iced wine which exists in this world. We just haven't flushed anything out about it. That's true. Or, what else exists? Yeah. Here, I'm actually kind. Of... So it's like it made sense of the iced. As wine far as the map is concerned, about. we we haven't really created a lot of the map. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, I'm not the rabbit hole is in like the cuisine for this area. I'm kind of curious what we could come up with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for instance, you want uh, well, I, yeah, someone in the chat earlier, someone in the chat earlier, I think it was maybe Yino was talking about like a a, a, a meat braise something. We yeah. were talking, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, like oh, sorry, braise meat pair with like, iced wine. Yeah. That could be a, a, a nice one to go with it. That like, would actually cover ice wine? the cuisine. Was that, was that, did we just do the cuisine or was that? Yes, we just did cuisine. Yeah, that was the cuisine from a spare, a sparse bear in a remote region in the world. But then, of course, okay, you know, the so iced wine also starts... There's a useful life. plant that ties to that, or... Uh, we could... I think the two we were talking about were the... There was one about, like, plants from a remote area or something. I can't... I don't know where that one is. But the other one we were talking about was the conflict between two unequal powers in your world. Uh, I, I think if, we could just keep going with the if we keep going with this wine theme, then we've got the plant, which would be the snowberry. We'd have the settlement, which would be the existing clan, because the other one's extinct. You leaning towards one or the other? I am definitely leaning towards the conflict because mm. I think that's <laughs> then the conflict we could do the the actual. Yeah, I was about to say war. I think want to do the want to, want to look at the conflict and how we kind of i kind of don't want to write about the settlement yeah, okay, okay. before we have the conflict down first because yeah. i feel like we'll probably end up naming the settlement in the process okay right oh and they have all these nice little prompts in here <laughs> so i'm just going to put a quick brief up here for this
Yeah, that might be another fun thing to do, is actually use the prompts that World Anvil gives you. Because they give you a lot. <laughs> that sounds, and they make you think. <laughs> that sounds so, so backhanded, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> We're both very tired. Okay, I'll be fair, I'm also the person where all my articles just go in the vignette section. So, like, I barely touch the actual prompts, and it's a problem. <laughs> yeah. Sitting here, it's like, oh, I don't know what to write about this thing. And it's like, maybe, maybe I should go look at the prompts. Right. So they they are very it. useful, and, and also because they they format things. Yeah. And that's why I don't use it, because I want to make my own formatting. I want to make my own headers. Um, I'll throw things in the sidebar. Yeah, but, uh, if I do ever get a subscription to World Anvil, I'll be sure to use all the extra fun things. Well, even free members have access to the prompts. The prompts, yeah. It's mostly just the CSS you're missing out on, and the themes. Which I don't really care about yeah. <laughs> right now. We're going to put this kind of far back in the past, I think. Maybe like yeah, I think it has to be or... at least 100 yeah. years ago. Like, maybe Clan Oak Barrel has kind of fallen into, like, legend. It's like, oh, those dumb people in the past. Like, how silly they thought. Like, it has to be long enough away that no, like, human lifespan race from that time are alive today. So let's be far enough back. Dates yet, so we're going to leave that there for a minute. But they're going to prelude. Um, so this is going to be where Clan Oak Barrel is going to uh, metal. So it's the difference in the in the barrel, the wood types, and in how they bottle it, or how they the, the metal caps in the bottle. Yeah, I, I think I think the very first thing they did not like was the actual barrels. Mm -hmm. I think that's what I think that would happen first. And I can okay. also see maybe they thought that so we'll you know, using the barrels was almost so, like spitting um, in the face of Vardvold because you had to import them. Mm hmm. And I will be right back. I need to grab water. Uh, that goes to anyone in chat. Please make sure you hydrate.
Oh, getting all the beginning of a written down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so we're playing fine, right? Okay, so there we go. So we got, uh, I've got a bit of the lead up there coming into it. Um, I definitely think there needs to be, be like in the actual conflict itself, some good old like dino wars type action where they're just sabotaging each other. So we're gonna have him. <laughs> right. This is like a full blown civil war. Well, is this more like uh, like the U.S. civil war, or is this more like the Cold War? That's the question here. Not, not like like a funny a funny kind of civil war. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a Cold War. Well, in between, it, at some point you would have to turn it to a hot war, right? Because one clan got destroyed. Yeah. Um, here's an idea is that maybe they had some sort of idea. But I want to make it funny. Okay, so, like, no, no, no. Right, kind of dark funny. Brother against brother, father against son, fighting with mackerels. Exactly, Bama. Exactly. <laughs> what? Okay, this is that's a clear be a reference that I do not get. Okay. I need fish slapping now. We need to have fish slapping in this. So oh, it's, it is Scandinavia. Oh, there we there go. Is a lot there we go. Look, so, so. Oh. One of the sabotages could be that someone poured vinegar in a barrel of fish, and, and the other one turned it into pickled herring, kind of like a na 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 na. <laughs> 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 
Oh, okay. I thought it was a reference to something. Makes sense. You know, like, like these kind of petty, petty things to spite each other. And I almost feel like... Okay, so... So we're gonna we're gonna change this line here. It's gonna see and much drinking, fighting, and fish slapping occurred. Yeah. Uh, can I can I also say something yeah, yeah, that yeah, I think would be yeah. funny? I think only, I think only a few people actually cared. Yeah. <laughs> sure. I, like I think it was like the higher, like maybe like twenty people actually gave a damn. <laughs> Um, I have I've got another idea for sabotage or like mean things you can do to somebody is that they took a bunch of codfish and just like basically like helped well, I, codfish heads at their at like the other clans um, like houses and stuff. But the thing is, because it was so cold, they just dried and that and that's how they invented stockfish. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold up, repeat that. <laughs> just, I want to make sure. I hear so, so is this just going to be like a long series of pranks where they invent all this new stuff, trying to trying to screw with each other? Yeah, <laughs> kind of think this. <laughs> I because I feel like this is less of like an actual cold war and more of a Looney Tunes slash Tom and Jerry situation where Tom where uh, Jerry actually gets the mouse <laughs> at the end. <laughs> if that makes sense. Like, maybe somebody accidentally actually took it too far, and that's why Clan Oak Barrel is no longer around. Well, it, yeah, 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 it's a it's a lukewarm war. <laughs> it's a lukewarm war. <laughs> like, I feel like it escalated to the point where somebody <coughs> said, oops, accidentally killed the leader uh, with, the, with the... So maybe, maybe <laughs> something silly happened, like, um... Like, like he tried to open a wine bottle, but because it was metal, his tongue stuck to it. Like, it, he's so used to being able to bite a cork and pull it out, and then he goes to bite the metal lid, and his tongue sticks to it, exactly and now he's got a wine bottle hanging out of his mouth. I think that's exactly what started the whole, like, actual, okay, fuck off. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> Oh, what if pouring wine uh, into a into yeah, okay. a, like, so we can a actually barrel add that of in fish right here. is what created Sistrumming? Because like right after they what did, did it, there's a big snowstorm. So everybody had to stay inside and they couldn't fight with each other for like for like several days or like a week or something. And then when they came out it was like for it was completely fermented and now they had Sistrumming. So dumb. <laughs> so... <laughs> Yeah, no, I think that's what started the... <laughs> I think that's exactly what happened. There we go. So his tongue got stuck to the bottle, and then he got frostbite, and then it's war. <laughs> yep, that is exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Your mother was a hamster, and your father smelled of elderberries. <laughs> Okay, Oak Barrels poured a bunch of pine snowberry wine all over a stockfish as an insult, which incidentally resulted in the creation of a now delicacy snowberry wine pickled herring. Exactly, exactly. 
I do like the idea that this war accidentally sparked like a whole bunch of like new fish delicacies. <laughs> uh, I, okay. Right, right, right. So we'll put it here. So like the initial parts of the war were a cold war. Lukewarm. spice this up though a little bit though um because chief Pinehart, he he's gonna he's gonna be like uh i don't care about your your slight try to prank him back and then he's gonna be like I didn't even notice so I'm gonna sit here and eat these pickled fish and, and, and force everyone else to do it yeah exactly okay um So I'm actually going to move this one down here. Because uh, that keeps that sense of escalation as, as it goes up, right? We can add some more stuff in the middle if we want. Battlefield. Mm. So, so we we can fill in some more prank information in the middle later on if we choose to. Um, mm. I think I but, think the final I think the final prank is, um, like in an attempt to. Like do like some one upping things. They make a um like snowberry infused drink. Uh but they didn't process it correctly. Uh <laughs> and I think one of the other clan member got very sick. Uh Oh no no no. No, we we can we can we can say that uh they tried to sabotage the lids on their uh, for their pots whenever they were cooking, and it ended up distilling down the alcohol and making it spicy. Does that happen? 
it's fantasy it could well when you distill wine you get brandy yeah true fair enough okay i dig it okay I mean, sure, sure. We're 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 definitely taking liberties with it, right? Like, and that that's absolutely true. But we just kind of just riffing with it. Uh, so you think we're gonna hit the uh, three hundred word mark on this one? I, we already have. I, I'm making a joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think we already have. I'm pretty sure we definitely have. <laughs> um. <clears throat> um, we can add a bit of a retaliation here so that uh, Pine Art doesn't just seem like a victim. Yeah, what do you think the retaliation is? Well, okay, here's an idea. Maybe they want to make Pinehart look like the victim, like, in the history to justify their actions. Like, oh, look at what these evil um, oak barrels did. And perhaps, right. like, as time has passed on, they've actually forgotten that Pinehart retaliated. <laughs> or Uh, so, so their oak barrel wine, they didn't age that very well, so it's going to like their, um... Into... Well, so I'm also kind of making like I, I want Pinehart to be to, to look like he's being a little bit petty because he is All right mm -hmm. but it's also more of the traditionalist versus the progressive kind of view mm -hmm. ooh you know that's a that's actually a good idea that's actually a good idea uh, i'm gonna add that in here i think maybe not as like initial thing but later on so because like that ca that's causing actual damage one. to somebody yeah so i don't think that happens before somebody gets stuck to a metal lid like their tongue gets stuck to a metal lid i think that happens after to be completely honest with you The, the, so the well he was saying because they had the thing where green snowberries if you eat them too early they'll give you frostbite mm -hmm. so if they're cooking down the berries you know you're going to have the fruits actually in the pot while they're cooking it right so he's dumping green green snowberries and and their old wine 
Yeah, I feel like the, a lot of the actually harmful pranks didn't really start until like near the end of the war when people had kind of forgotten why that like that this is supposed to be extremely petty, or people started taking it more seriously. Right, right. Well, so I, th I think that, you know, in the first couple of events, what we have here is that uh, they try to prank each other, but but both chiefs were able to play it off and be like, haha, we rose above your prank up until the the um, tongue getting stuck to the bottle, which wasn't a prank at all. Yeah. Right, so because the tongue getting stuck to the bottle was actually it was um, actually his fault. Chief of Pinehart <laughs> trying to be trying to be tough. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Um, we we so maybe put. We can, we can yeah, yeah I think this like, is a good place uh, to stop. Outcome, aftermath, long-term effects, or the or the legacy. We'll do it as a legacy here. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just want to hit the resolution that the the overtime the Oak Barrel Clan disappeared. I I and... think do. So, so here's the question about the Oak Barrel uh, the, the Wow. Wow. The Oak Barrel Clan. Did it only... Was it created due to this conflict? And was like a really short-lived thing? Or did it exist before? I, I think what happened was that they... Um, I think it was renamed, basically. Not not because of the conflict, but because of the change, like in how they were doing things. Mm. Like a respectable family gone bad, and now they're just remembered for the bad thing they did. Like maybe there was a clan split that we did. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Yeah, Hatfields and the McCoys kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, yeah, I got you. And instead of saying that they all die, we'll say that its survivors were just scattered. Yeah, I don't... Yeah. It doesn't need to be, like, a violent end. <laughs> it's like the Mayans or uh, Indus or Valley Civilization, where they kind of just disappeared for an unknown reason. fill that little, little bit in there later. I just wanted to have a little resolution there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we'll, we'll call this a uh, a showdown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think this would... Not, not yeah. so much a full thought. Okay. So there we go. Okay, that's another one down. Yeah. This is again, this is where this um the constraints come into play, right? Because just having that prompt really narrows our thinking and then that second constraint of the 
the ice wine and the berries right that brought us to something more interesting yeah <laughs> no i was i was raised on the kooky and, and humorous. Then, so when i tell people like you know think about your constraints and that the constraints are beneficial that's wrong yeah this was fun I was also raised on like the kind of kooky humor um, of like Tom Well, do you want to do one more or do you want to call it for the day? I think this is a good stopping point. Yeah, my dog is starting to bug me a little bit, despite having Tess gone out for a walk right before stream. Okay. <laughs> right. So we good? Okay, guys. Well, yeah. thanks for joining us. Thanks for hanging out. Um, if you want to hang out later, I'll be over in the Flagstone community server. Um, be sure to support the podcasters. Go hit their Ko-Fi. Go check out their uh, website on World Amble. And uh, y'all have a great day. Come check us out next time.